All right, today I am going to be playing the next game in the Commander Keen series. This one is called The Armageddon Machine. A stereotypical subtitle. Well, especially with the word Armageddon involved. But before I get started, I gotta do one thing. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off the music because I don't feel like speaking over the music. So you're gonna have to bear with me and well that's weird i never knew keen's uh feet made noise all right so basically as stated this is the next game in the series and i think i found this one to be the weaker of the two i always found secret of the oracle to be the much better of the two games i mean no offense to those who enjoyed this game And I think another reason why I turned off the music is to avoid copyright infringement, because that did happen in one of my other vlogs, in which I was kind of surprised about. I think it was my Jill of the Jungle vlog, where I got hit with the uh, copyright strike. One thing I really like is that their faces say, oh, after they get shot. You know, if I had my way, I would modify that screen to have it... I would say something else, but I think we will. I think we all know where that is gonna go. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And one thing I should have mentioned about the music is that the soundtrack itself is not horrible. I just don't believe it's nearly as memorable as Secret of the Oracle. Whoops! I did not mean to do that. Oh yeah, this is the level that has those, that there's, I believe, ten or nine barrels that are on the outside, like, hey, look at all these extra lives. You want all these extra lives? You really want these extra lives. Well, too bad. Yeah, that's still been a mystery after all these years. How do you get those barrels on the outside? And I heard there is a way, but my, but from what I understand, it's also really, really, really hard. I want those barrels. Oh, jeez. I hate when I do that. Oh, well. I'm not going to get it anyways. Mm-hmm. 
Of course, what's unusual is that this is the only level in the game where you don't have to uh, do a little scavenger hunt. Because I'll show you in the next level. Oh yeah, I still like it how uh, Keen, even though he still dies, he can still collect points. So, in essence, if you're close enough to getting an extra life, and you die, would it really matter? I'm checking to make sure nobody's below me. Gosh darn it, did it again. The multi-death. And to be honest, I normally do not suck this bad. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Alright, that's much better. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, like I said before, I normally don't suck this bad. I just don't know what's going on. Although I think it's either this game or in the Secret of the Oracles, you can purposely die and get tons of points and get extra lives. I'm just trying to remember, because I know one of the King games is uh, notorious for that. I'm just trying to remember which one it was. was a close one. I can experience that again. Oh, that was close. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I also love how the Pogo makes farting noises. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, jeez. That's right. I have to get this stupid card. That's one thing I don't like about games is that you have to get an extra item just to exit the level. That to me is a pain. I mean, okay, we get to the exit, we're finished the level, let's just move on. But instead we have to go through more hoops just to clear a level. I hate games like that. Okay, I don't know what he was charging at, but uh, there was nobody there. The old saying goes, you gotta look before you climb down a pole. You know, for some strange reason here, I kind of like the game better without music. I just don't know why. I just do.
Okay, it's this mission right here where it has another hoop you have to go through to exit the level. And if I can survive long enough, I'll show ya. Now bear in mind, these vlogs are made for those who have never played a DOS game. Or for those who just want to re-experience the nostalgia. I can safely say that was close. Oh, there's John Romero written in the pipes. You just gotta love those little uh, tidbits that the uh, developers put in. Solid snake. Although this is nice and all, but unfortunately this doesn't help me in the long run. Because if I were to die right now, that would be a waste, then this would have been a wasted effort. And hey, look at that, I survived. I was like the rubber reds and then we got nah, 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 nah. I just like to I just like to know what he's saying. Probably probably nothing appropriate, but uh but I digress. This level always makes me nervous. Got an, extra, got an extra life out of the deal. Very nice. I mean, I would save, but uh, this is not a stream, nor is this a review. Got very lucky there. I forgot I opened that pit up. You always gotta wonder what those little purple dudes are doing on the computers. Well, it's certainly not looking up uh, 
Naughty stuff. That's for sure. At least, I don't think. Oh, just barely made it. Of course, there's these dudes here just gonna follow me around. They can be killed, but it's tough. <sighs> Jerk. Ay, ay, ay. But I did score a couple of free lives here, so I guess it's all good. That was real close. Yeah, that big red dude's my favorite character in the game. I'd still like to know what he's chattering in the background. Like I said, it's probably nothing appropriate, but... Boy, this is nerve-wracking at its finest and uh, irritating at its worst. I get why Kane has to be in that pose. He's like, Yeah, you want some of this? Yeah, bring it. Yeah, I don't know if it's just to be comical or what. I just found that pose to be a little weird. Now that was just pure luck right there. Like I said, that was pure luck. Okay, so this is the other loophole that you have to uh, complete in order to get out of the level. Now, as a kid, you wouldn't know at first what to do because it's not clear. You can't just simply jump on it. Can you try shooting it? Nope. Nope. 
Yeah, you have to use your pogo stick to break this. I mean, I get it. It's for it's force and gravity that breaks it, but... Why didn't they make that clear in the manual to begin with? One of the four machines protecting the main elevator shaft, Toast. It sounds like that half looked like... Um, you... I think you're aware of this, um... I don't know why I'm mentioning this. So basically, it's just another loophole or another hoop you have to get through in order to clear a level. Um, there's not much else to talk about this game, so we're just going to stop it here. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see everybody next time.